Hello guys, this is Spur here and today I'm back with another video and today I will be showing you how to connect your gaming chairs to your PS3 and how to also connect it through your Ogato and how to connect your um, headset um, to your PS3 with the um, gaming chairs together. So first of all I will show you how to connect your gaming chair to your TV. So with the gaming chair you should get two um, cable, with the, sorry, with the white and red and at the end you have the green uh, which will go to a splitter. Uh, you don't have, yeah, it doesn't have to go to um, a splitter which I will show you in a minute. I will show you a simple way which you can do is you also get um, this to white, this white as well which have uh, red and white on each end so what you want to do is plug it to the side of the chair red to red, white to white and then also you will get uh, all those uh, splitters very hard to do one hundred So what you want to do, you will have uh, red and white, so you connect uh, red to red. White to white. And then you go back to your PS3. And what you want to do is take your SCART cable, connect it to the back of your PS3 and then take out the wires and connect them um, red to red and white to white like that and then you put what you want to do you have a HD cable as well uh, plugged in and the back of the TV so you can have um, the screen can go through the TV and some through PS3 uh, I will not show you how to set the audio and video now because I will show it to you later um, when I will set and be setting up I'll get to one headset so this is the first way you can do it but then if you want to have um, two gaming chairs at the same time uh, what you want to do is um, have this place here, I don't know what it's called, I got it with um, the Turtle Beach headset so if you have Turtle Beach headset you don't have to buy it it's, uh, you have red and white and it has this place here at the back and you have the um, um, green one so you can plug in um, it looks like a how you very plug your headphones and stuff. So with the gaming chair you also should get this cable which I was showing you earlier. What you want to do is uh, uh, get this cable as well. So you can have uh, one cable like this connected as well. So you can have one gaming chair connected through this one. And you connect this um, to a gaming chair and then you get this end and you put it um, in your TV so you can have a, so if you don't have HD cable you can put, plug it through this one so you can put it in the back of your TV if you have SCART or whatever you have it red and red, white and white and then you get the SCART cable which fell down here And then you, what you want to do is just connect red to red, white to white. Sorry, HD cables are in the way, I'm gonna unplug them. So have red to red, uh, white to white, and then uh, yellow you just connect it to the scar, or you can do it at the back of the TV, it doesn't matter where you have it. So if you don't have um, red, white, uh, yellow on the back, you can do it through this card. 
So this is how we can head it through AV cable which we don't have HDMI that's for old TVs. Do uh, you have um, two gaming chairs set up? Uh, what you want to do is have this cable. Don't plug it straight away in this cable, but have a splitter. Uh, you can have a splitter just for two, three, four. I have it for five, so I can plug how many game chairs I want in it. Uh, I have two, but I could plug in four k uh, four chairs and a headset as well. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Go and plug everything again. Now, what you want to do? It's like your two cables should work like this. You game, um, you get each with the um, gaming chair. So if you have two gaming chairs, you will get uh, you have two. If you have three, you will have three. So the, um, you should you should get it with the gaming chair. And then I bought this uh, splitter because you don't get it with the gaming chair. So what you want to do is connect those two into the splitter. So it looks like this. Uh, I'll just push this on this as well, yellow, yellow. So it's white and white, red and red. And what you want to do is connect these cables, two lines, uh, yeah, uh, white and red, white and red. So what you want to do is connect it to this cable. Red, red, white. So I just blow around. To red, white to white. Then connect this to game into. So one is done. So you want to do just move it up. And what this cable fixes for next step for a gutter. Alright, uh, now we're gonna get second cable, which you get, should get with the gaming chair as well. So, this cable you will get with the gaming chairs. You want to do the second gaming chair, plug this in, uh, red to red, white to white. Don't turn on your gaming chair. Um, before you plug those in because it will make a buzzing noise and sometimes it's not very pleasant for your ears so <laughs> if you don't want too much buzzing going on leave your chairs off and plug those cables first so again uh, connect red to red white to white so at the end it should look like this and go to a gaming chair uh, this is green cable if you're wondering what it is uh, you will get it with the gaming chair as well, and it will continue. And then you can uh, plug your phone, iPod, or whatever you're using for your music. Uh, you can listen to your uh, PS3 games, and also you can plug it in your phone and listen to your music at the same time. I tried it and it's working. Uh, there's no buzz, there's no fuzz or buzzing going on when you're doing both at the same time, so you can do it at the same time. Um, so what you want to do now to connect it to your TV is get the um, this splitter, which has a splitter at the end. And you can still do it for uh, old TVs. You plug this in here, you splitter in this, and then you take this and you plug it again in your TV or uh, scarred whatever you, where you want to put it where you can so you have it like this okay, over here. then you have red to red yellow to yellow and sorry white to white and yellow you plug into your TV or scarred just up there so it looks like something like this and then you're all set up for uh, video and audio for AV if you, have HD, if you have HD cable, what you want to do is just unplug this and leave this for audio. And again, plug in your HDMI cable. 
then grab your HD cable and then plug it in to your HDMI so then it also looks like this you have HD cable here and AAV here so this is for sound and this is for uh, your um, video and then leave the yellow out okay now how to connect your Elgato well that's um, it's the same way I connect it to the TV so everything will say, stay the same how everything is connected all you have to do is take your Elgato right here and Take this cable, which you should get with Elgato as well, and connect this end here. Yeah, yeah. So it is like this, and then I bought this cable uh, because I didn't get it with Elgato. Um, you can get it for ten pounds from games. That's where I got it from. So it has two red, uh, white, a green, and blue. So what you want to do is uh, left side, uh, red and white, uh, and right side if you look at it for this way. These two you leave out, and then you can make the red, the blue, and green into this. Give a second. So it looks like this, and then you will be left with this. Well, uh, great. If you have Elgato, just connect those two in here for audio, and you will be set up to record uh, audio like that. But if you want some game shows in it, what do you want to do? Just unplug this. Just go like that. And you plug those in here. Should look like this. Uh, quite too wide. And red to red. Then what you want to do is with those cables, you plug them in here. So again, white to white and red to red. So at the end, you should be left like that. Elgato, you have the splitter. This is for your audio, for your gaming trays as well. Then this is your video, and then you connect this cable, this card. Again, you swap it with the R1 if you had the RX card. So you take the RX card off, and then you uh, plug in your Elgato card at the back here. Uh, if you're not using Elgato and you want to still keep your gaming chairs on, you don't have to unplug everything. You can just keep everything in, all the cables. And I'll show you how to do it in a minute. So you should have it like this, and it looks messy. This is your Elgato, and then it comes, uh, goes to this cable carries on to the splitter. And from the splitter, you have those two cables which are going to game into it. And then, what you want to do is uh, connect your Elgato to your TV. So, we connect your HD cable to the HDMI output. So, it looks like this. And then your USB cable, which connects to your uh, computer when you start recording, you plug it in here. 
can you see? Sorry, I'll scratch it and you'll see there. So at the end it looks like something like that. So this, there you go, this is set up from Elgato. So what you want to do then from Elgato, you connect the second HDMI cable, which I dropped somewhere here. So you want to be left with is two HDMI cables. Plug one in, click one in from Elgato. That's the one hundred. Right, so what you're left with is two HD cables, HDMI cables. And then what you want to do is skip this HD cable here, plug it in, the black one. So blue one is for Elgato, and the black one which I'm using is for PS3 when I'm not using Elgato. So your audio will still go through your uh, Elgato, and your video will go through the second HD cable, HDMI cable. So you, what you want to do is have two HD, HDMI cables, so you can... Um, do it without Elgato, so you don't have to always plug in your Elgato and it will be recording all the games what you're using because Elgato is set up that when you always plug it in it will start recording uh, I know it looks now messy but then in a minute I will uh, tidy everything up and show you how it looks like and also I will, um, this, uh, how I said, um, I'll show you how to have a um, be, um, to be headset or whatever headset you're using. What you want to do is just plug this uh, in the splitter. It looks like that. You have two gaming chairs and a headset. And then what you want to do is plug this into your PS3 to power the headset. So that's how you get power to the headset. And that's it, you're set up. You can you have um, two gaming chairs and a headset and an Elgato all together. So now I'm gonna tidy everything up and I'm gonna show you how to set up the video and audio. See you in a bit. Uh, all cables are tucked away. I'm gonna show you how it is. You have your HDMI cable, your AV cable. You have to connect it back to your TV. Change the my cables and AV. Then I have Elgato at the back here. So everything is tucked away, so you can't really see anything. So at the front I have games, controllers, and mics, so you can't really see the cable at the back. And at the bottom, I have the splitter here at the side, which is connected to the headset. Here. And a second, and two cables which are going to the gaming chairs. So now, what you want to do is get your power adapter, plug it in to your mains, and then Plug it to your game chair. Um, this is for bass, uh, this is for uh, vibration, and this is how you turn it on. So, when you press it, turn on, and it will be blue. If it's not blue and you turn it on, that means something wrong with it, it's not working. So, if you bought it and it's not working, you should contact the number which should be on the chair, or go back to the store and then they should uh, fix it for you or give you a new chair. So this is how it should look like when it's all plugged in. Uh, and second game chair as well. And you turn volume up with this. So now I'm gonna show you how to do the audio and the video settings. So turn on your PS3 
I'll have to show you how to do that. <laughs> Should find oil. So you can hear my gaming chairs are already working. I'm going to shut the blinds um, so the light is not coming uh, shining on the TV. Alright. So what you want to do is go down to settings then go down to uh, audio, uh, sorry, sound settings and you go to output and you go down from HDMI you go down to SCART press X until it's uh, gone when you're using Elgato um, what you want to do is for audio multi output so when you're recording, uh, turn a, a multi output on. So you can hear the um, sound for your TV and the uh, game chairs at the same time. So that's how you do it. Um, and if you ha want to change from AV cable to HDMI or display, what you want to do is just go to video output and change to HDMI. Then press um, keep pressing X. That's all you need to do. And then when you want to go back on um, Elgato, you go to it, um, output and then you go to uh, composite, which is um, yellow and the black. Then you press X and then you will change it, and you have to. Um, Change when, when change it with your remote control to HDMI one. That's how I set it up. So I have uh, on HDMI two, I have my normal HD, and on HDMI one, I have my Elgato. So it's like AV cable. So yeah. Um. In next in next video, I'll be talking about my clan. I joined a new clan. Uh, which has now 79 members and it's going up. Um, our commander might, might be kicking out some people because lots of people didn't do very good in clan wars so he is not very happy with them so we are trying to get new people which are better and I will talk about next video. I hope I helped you with your gaming choice and if I did please like and subscribe. Peace out.